What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to a very special episode. That's right, MK Ultra is back, baby. If you guys have been here since day one, you remember my first ever series, wherein I would train like a different superhero in each episode and at the end, test my skills in a finale fight scene cinematic. In this season two premiere, it's time to tackle one of the most highly requested heroes from season one, Black Widow. Earlier this year, Marvel Strike Force reached out to us directly asking us to bring this series back. So before we begin, I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring this special episode. Marvel Strike Force is a squad-based strategic role-playing game free to play on iOS and Android. You assemble five member squads of Marvel superheroes and supervillains to defend the Earth from world-ending threats like Ultimus and his Kree Armada. You recruit your Marvel Dream Teams and battle your way through PvE campaigns, fight other players' teams for a place on the global PvP leaderboard, join up with an alliance and take on challenging group raids, and go to war with rival alliances all while powering up your teams and collecting more of your favorite Marvel heroes and villains along the way. One of my favorite things Things about Marvel Strike Force is that it features a ton of heroes. One of my favorites being Kamala Khan, AKA Miss Marvel. I love Kamala Khan because she has such a unique set of powers and also has a really cute dog sidekick. So again, thank you so, so much to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring today's episode. And be sure to download Marvel Strike Force for iOS and Android via the link in my description. What's up guys, I'm Christopher Troy, professional stuntman and action designer. I've done Marvel shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. My core abilities are parkour, tricking, and cinematic grappling. And that's why I think that Michelle wanted me here is because Black Widow encompasses all of those things. So Michelle's gonna have one week to get this action scene down. She doesn't have the big practice that we usually do, and she's gonna have to improv within this week to really find Black Widow within herself. We are gonna warm you up right now with some Black Widow moves. Tech, Tech come on, Graham. get in. Yeah, Tech let's do this. We're gonna <laughs> end up going that way with All everything. Right. But let's just start with some standard rolls. When we roll, I don't want you to do a gymnastic roll, which is kind of straight over the neck. I'd rather you do a parkour like roll, shoulder roll. Is it this way? I don't know. That looks crazy up here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Show me on the ground. Yes, sir. There oh it is. yeah. There it is. Hey yo. Like oh, oh, I'm oh. Black Widow. <laughs> is that good? Do you want? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. fine. Now I'm gonna ask you to do something. Be round. You gotta be like a roly poly, okay? <laughs> so if you think about it that way, if you roll some dice or whatever, it's gonna end up getting stuck somewhere, right? Because we have flat surfaces. If you're round, it doesn't stop. You're eliminating all your edges. Staying round. Closer, she definitely needs to stay round when she rolls. We're gonna be on concrete and I can't have her clacking her head or her lower back. That's just gonna kill the day. Rolling on the ground, taking people from standing to the ground is a big part of Black Widow's fight style. So it was important for me to learn these basic gymnastics things, which I've done before, but it's been a while. Let's get into a little bit of grappling. The grappling, wrestling, and takedown component of Black Widow's fight style was what I was most excited to learn. I connect a lot with Black Widow because she is another small female, often taking on much larger villains and opponents. So I'm really interested to see how someone who is physically smaller can take on a larger person and win. I think that's also just a great self-defense skill I would love to have in my own life. This is an arm drag. This is something that I think everybody should know in real life, because you're getting behind someone that can't hit you. I'm reaching for his wrist, pulling it down, grabbing the back of his forearm. Now I'm trying to put it in my pocket. Like, dude, stop. And he's not gonna, where is he gonna hit you? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he's like, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just do a couple more of these. This is gonna lead to a really cool move. Right here. There it is, yeah. Oh, oh, pop. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Smoother. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, nice, that was much better. Very cool. Now, with all type of grappling, jujitsu, anything like that, you wanna kill the space. The last thing I wanna do is to have space when I'm throwing someone or anything. Like if I'm not fully attached to Tekla when I throw her like this, it could bounce her and then she could fall differently and get hurt. So we try to kill all of the space between us. Okay. So be like glue. Be glue, my friend. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> I don't know the Bruce Lee. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, some liquid. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Nice, Very that's better. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's try it on a bigger opponent, Graham. <laughs> oh, Challenger. Man. Oh, no, no. <laughs> We're gonna lose the arm drag, but it's gonna be the same feeling. We're gonna go for something a little fancier. So ooh. it's gonna be a hook. You're gonna duck under, grab, and try to get onto his back. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Great Get job, back, yeah. guys. That looks so cool. In order to build the scene, we're looking at the video games. We're looking at the comics. It's really important to get the full gist of Black Widow, and Marvel Strike Force is a really good example of that. Also, I brought in a close friend of mine, Michaela McAllister. She totally understands cinematic grappling, and I wanted Michelle to see the perfect female version of what we do. My name is Michaela McAllister. I'm a stunt woman. I've been stunt doubling on the upcoming film. Film Black Widow. I've helped in all of the fights and a lot of wire work. I train in Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, Judo, and I've been a gymnast my whole life. Black Widow, she's also an acrobat, you know, a jack of all trades. She is an assassin. In the comics, she was raised in the USSR's Black Widow Ops program, where she was brainwashed and trained at the Red Room facility to become a Russian spy. Black Widow's history is really important to her movement. She's been trained in all these deadly arts, so all of Black Widow's movements should feel like a dance, but just like a deadly dance. What can she do to take down these bad guys that are massive or they're in armor? She can grapple up and around these guys. She's able to take them down by like brute momentum. Yep. Boom. Boom. Now Good. jump on his Hop back. On back. Just get this on. This is weird. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Yes. Use that arm. Yeah, there, 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 <laughs> okay, right, right here. Do it again and see how you, you had zero momentum. Yes. Pretty hard without okay. momentum. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying not to kill Griff. <laughs> Michelle's gonna have to trust me that she gotta just throw the guy instead of holding on to the guy and being like really soft handed with him because it's not gonna help, it's gonna hurt. So let's just put a baby piece of choreo together now that from what we've just learned. So we're gonna grab right here, I'm gonna pull him this way and I'm gonna shoot and pull him down. Boom, okay? Whoa. So you can just lay on your back. Whoa, boom. And now that? you're reaching for his pocket. You know, if you're a little raccoon and there's like food in that pocket, you're gonna go for the pocket, yeah? Yeah. Okay? All the times and I've been a raccoon. <laughs> yeah, just focus on those memories. So you're going this way. Yep, 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 yep. First time every time, nice. Michelle. That's a really wah, good wah. one, Michelle. <laughs> so, this is totally a thing that you can knock somebody flat with. With your whole body, really get behind Graham, you know? The more momentum you have and the tighter you are to the person, the safer it is. If you can see it as a dance, it's so much easier. Okay. See your, I will your keep angles. that in mind today. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay, I think good. I've been seeing it as, I hope I do this right <laughs> and don't hit Graham in the face. I am not accustomed to jumping on people, specifically people I don't know that well. <laughs> Every day at training, we've had a different person be my partner. So let's kick it up from the beginning. Benny, if I could have you step in. I have to say this again for you because this is a new human, but he's very stocky and he's very used to this, okay? Give him full intent, you're not gonna hurt him. <laughs> Isn't that what we were supposed to do, sorry? What we want to see is everything off the ground. I'm like jumping on his back. When you're doing particular moves or particular choreography, you have to do it over and over again. So repetition is key and making sure that you're hitting each movement with strength. Really try full intention to knock Benny down. Benny, fight her from knocking you over until she actually knocks you over. What? Okay. Otherwise, you're not going to find where we need to put the pressure on him. Okay. Knock him down. Yes! I'm not kidding right now when I say this. That was the best one. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Did you feel like you did yeah. anything different? Well, I tried to <laughs> take him down. Well, thanks for finally not, trying. Not, not okay. like that. <laughs> no. I'm gaining a lot of newfound respect for stunt performers who are great at switching in and out with different partners based on the needs of the production. Like today, we're working with Robbie, the actor in the scene that I'm filming, and he is much taller than everyone I've worked with this entire week. My name's Robert Dill. I'm an actor of about 20 years and I've been a stunt man for the past nine or ten. I'm about six two-ish or something like that and she's about you know that tall. Robbie's so tall I'm gonna <laughs> jump on you. I'm a giant. It's gonna it's be okay. easier. <laughs> it should feel natural honestly. It shouldn't feel like you're doing some type of extraneous movement. So she's yeah. going to kick at you. You're gonna open her up right shoulder. Boom. Duck underneath her. <laughs> Walk away. Breath. Uh -huh. so drink, tall. drink, drink. It's her figuring out the like the new body mechanics and both of us figuring out oh my gosh how do I do with like this bigger person but 
but she got it within like one to two tries because she's been doing all these takedowns and working with Super Troy and I call him Super Troy anyway. Yeah, we picked it up like real quick and she had like the good attitude of just being adamant about like, okay, let's try this again, let's try this again and just going for it. The Black Widow character isn't really having any superpowers, but she's a highly athletic human and she has great flexibility. So far, Michelle's really surprised me in a good way about how well she moves. It's interesting to see how many details there are in Black Widow's movement, even just the way she lands. The first part of the fight scene is me landing from a ceiling into a room. Every superhero has a unique silhouette, three-point superhero pose. If you were to take Spider-Man or Iron Man just from their silhouette alone, they are super recognizable and you know exactly what character they are. Black Widow is the same. Her signature move a lot is like the kip up. And then she kind of like breathes into it. Whoa. Like, oh. That was amazing. Show me this pose. She's coming down from something. So then you land. All of your weight's gonna be taken on your left leg. Instead of landing in the middle, try to land everything on your, there you go. A lot of times Widow is a little bit more flexible, so her foot's out. And then her hand is just ready for anything. I it's never so like, it's never like this. <laughs> just relax your arm. And then you just wanna like get up, right? She stands up really, shoulders back, and then go. I always get really excited meeting people who have worked on Marvel properties. Getting to work with Kella, who worked on the Black Widow film, was so, so cool because she is a master of Black Widow's movement. She has studied Black Widow in the comics and video games and all of these other different forms of media to perfect the movement. I want you to like just go for it like all the way and then just come up. Boom. Wow. Okay, great. <laughs> Your turn. That's such okay. a nice drop. This isn't that crazy, right? No, no, no. No, okay. Do you feel like it's crazy? No. Okay, I, I, mean, I don't know. I just like up here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm big All the ever. details. Let's do it one more time now that you're feeling confident with it. Just try to get a little bit okay. higher. Higher? In yeah. the air? With so your knees up. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking if everyone else is ready. <laughs> okay. Think Spider-Man. So, yeah! There yes. it is. Perfect. Yes, yeah. good. Yes, Michelle. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we shoot it? Yes! Yay! <laughs> I think a lot of people think it's a lot of fun, and they're absolutely right, but it's very difficult. There are years and hours and days and months and all the other time Ooh. things you could use Ooh. to describe what goes into this. I am so, so sore. Yesterday, as I was exiting the door, I just felt this wave of exhaustion hit me so hard. It's gonna be really fun doing this again today, but I'm definitely feeling it. All right, we can get into beating people up now. Oh, it's fun. Important. Let's warm up some punches and kicks. Okay. So, rap, 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 rap. Okay, uh, Tech, can you step in here really quick? Yep. So, so it feels like you've done real punches before, mm -hmm. yes? Yeah. You, you need to eliminate it. A lot of times we have high level athletes, like professional boxers, step in and they go, I can fight, I can learn this choreo. Professional athletes are not supposed to be able to be read for camera because they're trying to knock somebody out. Professional stuntmen or what we're doing, <laughs> camera sees everything. This is kind of like acting. So Tekla, stand in front of her. Like bad and, acting. And, uh, and <laughs> like back acting. <laughs> Stay over there. Tekla is going to show you what acting looks like. So if you do this for camera, She's throwing all these punches. Oh. You see what's going on no matter what, right? Now, if she were to throw real punches, you can't really see what's right. happening, right? But then if you get bigger, whap, 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 be able to sell from all angles. Boom, boom, boom. We're doing more than just fighting. We're acting as well, and we're being cognizant of camera and lights. So repetition is really, really important, so we don't have to think about choreography, and we can focus on all the other things that may be changing on the day. I'm growing a bit concerned because although I'm feeling more comfortable over time on the cushy mats at the gym, I know that when we film this final scene, it's going to be on concrete. While it might not look like much of a difference to the audience, I know it's going to feel entirely different. The stakes will be higher because if I do something wrong, we're not landing on a cushy mat. We might hurt ourselves on concrete. If I go, Graham, can you do a front flip? Graham isn't thinking, I've done a front flip before off of like a trampoline. 
Graham thinks, can I do it in tights blindfolded with two actors that if you touch them, you're gonna get fired. That is the level in which you need to be when doing these things as, okay. as a stunt performer. Have you done kip ups before? We did them we did. one time. We I did. would love to see where you're at with that because that's very Black Widow. A kip up is a gymnastics move where you move from supine position to standing. I don't know if I can. It's okay, you don't have to. Try to arch your back a little more. There's a drill going into a bridge. Just to like get that arch, yeah. Go ahead and try it again. Yes! Oh. And push with your hands a little more and you okay. got it. I kept trying over and over again and I looked like a dying caterpillar. I could not get up to my feet without landing on my head. Roll up to your shoulders and then push and everything goes. Wait, can you do it again? I like watching you do it. <laughs> okay. So roll all the way to your shoulders. Yes! So, if we were to be doing this... On concrete. On concrete. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be doing this in film. You need to have it like a thousand times right. over. If we wreck the scene by not knowing where our camera is, whatever, we're going to hurt everybody, right? They're going to have to do it again. So maybe not this. Maybe not this. The last thing I want to do is hold people up on the day. Can I learn something quickly, like a real stunt performer does, and can I execute on the day? Or am I going to make people wait? In season one of MK Ultra, we did a Daredevil episode in which I had to do a backflip off a desk blindfolded. And if you watch the video, you'll see I did it. What you don't see is that it took us an hour to get that one shot. I had rehearsed it so much in the gym, but being in the room, doing it on concrete, being actually blindfolded changed a lot of things for me. It made me scared and I wasn't committing fully. When we film this Black Widow fight scene, we're not going to have the luxury of being able to spend an hour on one single shot. We will do one more wreck before we move on as to Sayuchi. Sayuchi, Sayuchi go. Oh no. Boom, Sayuchi. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> we did a wrestling video and we did this. So Black Widow is hyper wrestling, cinematic grappling. Let's see you do a Sayuchi then. Okay. Do you remember it so or do you want to warm your, it up? Yeah. Your back. It's the one foot kicks over. And then you're on your oh, okay. Whatever. I'm overthinking this. You are. Don't, don't overthink it. Land on your back. Go. Oh, oh, nice landing though. Oh. Slap. You okay? Are you okay? Yeah, that's fine. Things like that happen. That rattled you a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> just imagine, you're gonna have to do that five more times. Yeah. That's what we're constantly in the line of, mm -hmm. and you have to go pop it back up and be like, Okay, ready again. So going into the final fight, I am feeling really good about Michelle, except we just got to the conversation about concrete floor, stressing her out a little bit. If she mentally defeats herself, it's gonna be very difficult on the day. Physically, she's already there. If she really wanted to be a stunt woman, I think she could. Now mentally, she needs to realize that she can do it. You have to think about the longevity of what you're doing. And there's cheats and cuts on the camera side as well to make things as proficient as possible and as safe as possible. Because at the end of the day, we want to tell a story, but you know, it's not worth hurting yourself, really. If you want to do a couple of roles, like on something like this, yeah. which is like Marley, what is that? I don't know. It, it looks like the Basketball floor. Basketball Let's type Let's do some ground. of those. It's okay. just going to build your confidence. Yeah. Do yourself a favor, do a couple of roles. <laughs> Let's it's gonna, see. You're going to learn to be around. It's going to be different for sure. Stop it! Get up right now. Okay. I didn't realize we were dealing with this person. Where has this person been the whole time? I'm so You've been okay. a rock star. Get over here really quick, please. Uh, I'm see your normal role, please. Okay. Look at the confidence that comes over here. Got it. Exact same thing. Remember, you you have one roll. I know, I know. At the top of the scene this is the make or break part of the whole entire show. I was so worried about the pain of being on a hard versus cushy service that I kind of froze up a little bit. It was really embarrassing and that's what I don't want to happen when we film. That's the point of this whole thing is to be able to do it on concrete. It's the exact same thing. In your mind, if you decide to tell yourself that it's different, then it'll be different. Okay. You gotta be mentally stronger than that. Okay. Uh, we talked about the momentum thing, right? If you kill your own momentum, these are gonna be much harder for both you and the performer. I think that you are a really sweet human. Think about Robbie. Think about your other dance partner. Think about if you don't keep the momentum that you've been practicing with, you're gonna hurt him. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. So think about the other person. When you are a professional stunt person, you need to be able to do everything on any kind of surface. No matter what, when we film, 
I'm gonna push myself to do this and I hope it looks okay because it sure doesn't feel that way. I know that it's difficult for YouTubers to transition to traditional media and I face that whenever I go on auditions. I want to earn my way into this new field and I respect it so much and I want to show that I can do the hard work and get it done. Thank you guys so much for joining me for season two of MK Ultra and watching this training experience. If you want to see the final fight scene and see if I succeeded, be sure to check out the link below. I love how it turned out. Also, thank you so, so much to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring this episode, bringing back season two of MK Ultra and making awesome content like this possible. Be sure to check out the link for Marvel Strike Force if you want to try it out for yourself on iOS or Android. And be sure to check out Marvel Studios Black Widow in theaters November 6th.